Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and today we're going to be putting a Ness Method Clear Sucker on our twin cam soft tail here. Now, we have a good intake on this already. We're just changing this out for aesthetic reasons, so your removal of your intake may be a little bit different than ours, but the installs are gonna be the same on pretty much all twin cams that are not throttled by wire. So we got a late model bagger, it's gonna be a little bit different for you guys, but all the other twin cams uh, should be really, really close to this. We'll get this off here, and we'll get our new one on. have our uh, old air cleaner off. We're just gonna wanna make sure that all these surfaces are clean here, which these are pretty good, but you can see there's dirt inside here. It's a good time, because you're not gonna get a lot of chances to do this, is wipe this clean here. It's never good to have a bunch of dirt and stuff going in your intake. That's what the air cleaner is supposed to do, but it will get some stuff in there. Okay, now this is cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and prep our backing plate to put it on the motorcycle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the backing plate on the bike hang it by the breather bolts loosely. But to do that, we have to put all of our O-rings on our spacers here. So we're gonna use a little bit of grease and that'll help keep our O-rings in place. We're gonna put grease here. And you don't need to slather this in grease, just enough for the O-ring to stay in place. So we'll do this on both sides. A little bit of grease over here. On the other side, you can pretty much just drop these in here because the bolts will hold them in. Drop that in there. The breather bolt will go through there like that. Drop that one. There's a little bitty cutout in there for it to sit in. Drop that in there like that. Also, we'll have to have the spacers also have an O ring. So we got the groove side up. We're going to put a little bit of grease on either spacer. It got kind of crazy with the grease there our o-rings in now so we're gonna put the spacers on our breather bolts you want to make sure that the o-ring side is facing out like this you already have an o-ring in here sealing this side up so you want this o-ring side facing the engine so you slip those on there like that and right now while I have all this stuff sitting here I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on there you don't need a ton and we, these do have torque specs and we'll get to that when we go to tighten them up but for right now we're just gonna put them on there finger tight and then line up our throttle body bolts. So we're gonna slide this up here like this. We got a quarter inch Allen. That's what side these breather bolts are. What the breather bolts do, they allow this engine to breathe. Instead of the old crankcase style breathing, a twin cam breathes through the heads. So this is a hollow bolt that actually feeds it into a machined passage in, the, in here. And then there's little passages here that let it breathe back into the intake. We're gonna use blue Loctite on our bolts here. We're not going to tighten these all the way down so we can get these lined up. You definitely want to use blue Loctite on these little bolts going in your throttle body because if one backed out and got sucked in here, it'd be uh, no bueno. We've got our Loctite on our bolts for our throttle body. We're going to use our 316th Allen and run these in, but we can't forget our gasket that goes back up in there. You could try to hold on to this with all those bolts and put it on there. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually just slide it back behind here and then run my 3 16 bolts in. Like I said, it's very important that you put blue Loctite on here. You don't want one of these bolts to get sucked into your throttle body. Once we have everything kind of snugged down, we're going to get our torque wrench and I'll tell you the torque specs and we'll torque all five of these bolts to spec. The torque spec on these anywhere from eight to 10 foot pounds. And um, it's good if you have a torque spec to use it on this aluminum, because you don't want to strip out your throttle body or your head. So torque spec on these is eight to 10. I'm actually using 10 and we're good. Torque spec on the breather bolts is 16 to 18. So go ahead and torque those next. All right, now that this is all torqued down, we're gonna get our filter and our beauty cover. And we'll show you how to get that on there and we'll be done. So they send a nice film on this clear cover here. One thing you're gonna have to do, we're gonna peel this cover off and then you gotta 
insert the cover into this little groove right here on the air filter. Now it's not going to just drop right in because basically that needs to be airtight so it seals up real tight. So it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to get it in there, but that's a good thing. This is a washable, reusable, high flow element. So we sell recharge kits. This is basically a lifetime air filter. You'll be able to wash it with warm soapy water, don't blow it out with any air, and then re-oil it and you'll be able to use it forever. So I got this started in that groove over there. This is where it gets kind of tricky. I find it helpful to hang it off of the bench or the toolbox, and then you can kind of work it. You can pull the filter around it. And you can kind of hear it pop down in there. It needs to be set all the way in there. After it's set all the way in there, I like working with the stuff on a rag so I don't scratch anything. Flip this down into here like this. And again, this kind of seals tight around here and it sets in a groove in the beauty cover. So you gotta drop it in there nice and straight and you'll feel it when it kind of sets down in there. Then there's a gasket that goes here and it has extra holes in it because they use this gasket for uh, different things. But if you just spin it a little bit, they'll line up with the five holes that are in the beauty cover. We're gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on our hardware. This hardware is a 532nd Allen. We're gonna pop them through and that gasket is actually gonna hold them in place for us, which would be extremely helpful here in a minute. Careful not to tear that gasket when you're popping those through there. They give us these nice little covers to cover up our breather bolts. We're gonna use a little dab of grease to hold our little beauty plates that hide the breather bolts in place. And then we're gonna put our air cleaner on. And this does have a logo on it, so you're gonna wanna make sure the logo is at the bottom. That'll put one of these bolts at the top. Orientate this bolt to this hole logo at the bottom and everything should line up. You don't want to run these down tight like one at a time. You want to get them all started, then tighten them up, hit them with that torque wrench from anywhere from 40 to 50 inch pounds. All right, I like to go in like a star pattern if I can so things tighten down even. We got our torque wrench set at 45 inch pounds, right in between the recommended 40 and 50. All right, it's simple as that. And since we already had a high flow intake on here, our bike is pretty much tuned for that. So we're not gonna really need to add a tuner because we already have one. But if you don't have a tuner and you add a high flow intake like this, it's always a good idea to add one. If you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section below. You can chat with us online or simply call us on our 800 number. Now, go work on those motorcycles.